Good evening everybody and welcome to another of our Monday um, evening Reflections on the Rock from Covenant United Methodist Church. Not that we're advertising or anything, but just so you know where to find us on Facebook or YouTube. And we continue our um, series of conversations on Mondays that are sort of musings on the spiritual life and um, where people are and how they got there. And today we are very excited to have with us Doreen. And Doreen um, happens to be in the building right now anyway because she's one of the leaders for Freedom Scholars. Um, and so if you hear any children's noise in the background, be very grateful that our building is being used. Um, Doreen is a member of the Parcells Church, um, pa Historic Parcells Church. Yes. And um, they're using our building. We're sharing space. And um, so she's very familiar with what goes on here. Yes, yes. And she's going to talk a little bit about her faith walk, um, where she's been and where she's going and how God's there in the middle of it. So tell us about it. Tell us about it. Um, well, I'm glad to be here. Good. You know, it's really good, good, a like that. honor <laughs> and part, you know, glad to be a part of um, worshiping in this space. Yeah. You know, Covenant has been good to us. I'm a member of the historic parcels church and um you know we had some things going with, with our church yeah and covenant reached out in open arms and we've been here ever since so thank you for that um and my faith walk has always been one that i felt at a young age you know i used to go to church with my aunts and my parents and stuff like that so we were exposed to yeah. church at a young age so you know I felt the presence of the Lord mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know it, it was it was, was a that good here in Rochester Were you... um, I'm originally from Niagara Falls oh yes okay yes um my aunts lived here and when I uh got finished with college in Brockport, then I moved here. Ah. Yeah, but I'm originally... Keep it all in the family. Keep it in the family, yeah. Ah, you know, and, we, and as children, we came back and forth to Rochester anyway. So, yeah. it was kind of like home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I was exposed at a young age, and, you know, I always felt that closeness with God. Um, you know, as you get older, you veer away, and you... Yeah, you know, we've had several do, stories like do that. Do stuff, mm -hmm. you know, but, you know, even in college and... You know, when I moved here, you know, on my own and stuff, I still felt, you know, connection because I still went to church. Mm -hmm. But um, my revelation as to how powerful God was was when I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Oh, wow. And that was in August of uh, 2017. Oh, wow. Yes. Not that long ago. Not that long ago, no. And it, well, it hallelujah, was, you're still here. I'm still here. Oh. You know, and love's not done with you yet. <laughs> hey, no, he got something for me to do. Yeah, so he, you know, he, he kept me in his arms because it was a challenge. It was a journey. And um, you definitely need God and a support group in your life, you know, because everything you have to go through from start to finish you know, it, it was something that, you know, challenged your mind, challenged mm -hmm. your body. Challenged your faith. It, it challenged your faith, yeah. But for me, it it kept me stronger. Mm -hmm. You know, when I could yeah. lean on the power of the Lord because I said, look, you're the only one that can do this right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, yeah, because you feel so weak yourself. Yes, yes, you have to yes. rely on God and other people. And other people, yeah. They get you to treatment. Yes, and yes. Be there for you. And be there. Yeah. And then when you're, you know, by yourself and, you know, you're you're going through the chemo and all that stuff and, you know, you're just like, okay, <laughs> I need to hear from you, Lord, you know, mm -hmm. and I would definitely, you know, listen to gospel music and, mm -hmm. you know, um, read the Bible and, um, you know, I'm... I'm a writer, for those who don't know. Ah. But I had a, um, you know, the side effects of chemo oh. is awful. Yeah. Especially the first um, beginning of chemo. Mm. Terrible, terrible. And, you know, it takes your hair out and all that stuff. It does a lot to your body. 
but a lot of women or people that go through we had a support group on um facebook so there's a lot of women talking about the side effects right but one of the ones that was really strong with me was the chemo brain oh and it it just oh man you're talking about trauma Mm -hmm. it really does a number on your brain you're losing your mind yeah oh gosh you know i i had it so bad that i couldn't read and i could barely write and for a writer, writer. that That's was awful. Yeah. And I was an avid reader, you know. I love to read. I still do. And you know, it it was it was just such a challenge mm. because you know I go to read a book and pages would jump, the words oh would jump, and gosh. you're like, oh my god, what is going on? And you know, those were the times I really had to pray. Yeah. You know, I'm like, God, this is this is terrible. Okay, what can I do? I need to hear from you. I really need to hear from you now. Mm-hmm. You know, those are the things that really helped me reach out and made my faith stronger. Uh-huh. Because what ways? I, uh, let's, go ahead if you want okay. to say something. Oh uh, no, I, I can ask your question. <laughs> um, what? In what ways did you hear God's voice? Was it a lot through that women's support group? So, you know, God mm-hmm. was there for you. But I often feel like we say that as if it's some kind of magical in the sky thing that's yes. just all in the head or all in the heart but there's some sometimes i feel as if i'm getting a word from god from a support group that yeah I'm in, yeah, or, yeah or church sunday morning church or yes yes a, it, there's so many different that. avenues you know yeah. um the support group i think god puts out little lifelines for you he says, okay, I, I, I'm going to talk to you sometimes uh-huh. you know so when you pray you know listen um you yeah you listen for that sweet voice you know but then you know he throws you lifelines like you know uh sometimes when i was going through chemo and um and i want to put a shout out to rochester general Mm. the lipson uh cancer center oh my god they were phenomenal phenomenal always made me feel welcome you know they were so sweet so sweet and they did like nice things for you so i loved them yeah. So I'm gonna give that shout out because I still go right. back and forth. Right, they're one of your lifelines. That's right, yeah. and you know, there's um, nurses that were Christian, and you know, they'll say, I say little things, and then they say, "You're gonna be all right." I said, "Yeah," because God got me. Mm-hmm. They said, "Oh, you're a Christian?" I said, "Yes." She said, "I'm a Christian too." Mm-hmm. I said, "Hallelujah!" <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. So it was like those little, like little lifelines, life yeah. you know, yeah. that God throws you and. Mm-hmm. Those are the things that you know that he's looking out for you. Mm-hmm. You know, he's saying, look, I got you, girl. Or I got you, man or mister or whatever. Right. But, you know, for me, it's like, I got you, girl. You yeah. Know? yeah. You're going to be all right. Yeah. When you all know. else is falling apart, yes. you've got that sort of. Yeah. You got that. that I don't know. Relationship. Little cushion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. I don't know. The, whatever, the safety net, the arms. Yes. You said something about held you and. Yeah, 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 you world, always feel you know, that, yeah. yeah. And then my family, my family was very, very supportive, you know, because you're always concerned about, you know, I have children and stuff, and I was like, oh, God, they got to be burdened with this, but they didn't feel it. Yeah. They didn't feel, they were just more concerned about me, you know, healing and being yeah. comfortable, and, you know, I just love them. You know, I have a great family. Mm-hmm. And then my church family, you know, mm-hmm. Pastor Carol would come and she would give me communion. <laughs> I look like, you know, I had scarf on, you know, you always had the little oh, yeah. <laughs> scarf on and stuff because you didn't have any hair. And um, you know, she'd come and she'd give me communion. And then yeah, my... I don't think God really cares whether you've got a scarf on or not. No, no. he doesn't care. No, yeah. no, no. And then, you know, the, um, my uh, church friends would call and always check up on me, see if I needed mm-hmm. anything. Wow. And then my other uh, community friends, <laughs> they would go to me to go and meet appointments and mm-hmm. stuff like that, you know. So I had a really, really great support group. How did you get involved with this Freedom Scholars program that we're hosting here? I mean, we're not. It's, it's, a, it's not our... Um, covenant ministry but we're offering them space that's our role yeah so how did you get involved with freedom scholars my children were involved in freedom school when i was over on goodman and they went my my children went 
And then my grandchildren went. And so from there, I got involved because I'm very involved in the community. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's just a natural match when um, uh, a couple of the uh, coordinators um, decided to branch off and mm -hmm. start, you know, um, another organization. Uh -huh. And so they put the leadership team together. I was part of the leadership team. And, you know, we've been doing great for the last two years. So we have the Freedom School Camp during the summer, and then we have the um, after school program, Seed Sowers uh -huh. and Storytellers in the fall. Wonderful. Yes, yes. Wow. So we are out there trying to really help these kids and- Yeah, and make you know, a difference. Yeah. And show them a new way and a different oh, way. Oh yeah, and yeah. And it's, a, it's an exciting program, especially the um, Freedom School Camp. Yeah. They do the Harambe, the Harambe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> saw them on Facebook exciting. with their, yes, yeah, yes. When they're singing their music. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is so, there, yeah. what, if you had to say something to somebody, maybe somebody who's watching, who's going through a really difficult time, what's, what's your best word for them, do you think? Don't give up. Oh. Don't give up. Mm -hmm. There is a God. Mm -hmm. I don't care who says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very tempting to give up sometimes in the middle of the darkest time of your life. Yeah. That is a wonderful... Because God doesn't give up. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a gift. What a gift. I made it. <laughs> you did. You did. I made and it. You're, I am a you're, survivor. You're a survivor and... And it sounds like you're more than a survivor. You're a, a thriver. Yes. You know, yes. you're just you can just take on life and yeah. And you can see the the love and the excitement in your life on your face and. <laughs> um, you know, so I know a lot of yeah. people out there want what you've got. Yes, yes, yeah. and you yeah. can have it too because yeah. you know I, I love I love God. You know I I really believe that you know despite everything that's going on. You know, there are good people, yes. there's good in the world. There it is. really is. We don't hear enough of it. You don't hear enough of it. You know, they got to make money so that you can so hear they that sell, stuff. Sell yeah, that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So there's a lot of good people doing a lot of good stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people just don't give up, you know. Yeah. All right. Yeah. What a don't great way up. to end a Monday evening. <laughs> don't, give don't give up. We'll see you another um, another Monday with somebody else to talk about their life experience and... Join us on Wednesday and Friday at 7 o'clock, um, as usual, um, for evening prayer. Thanks for being with us, and thank you, Dorothy. You're welcome. Thank you.